Welcome to this edition of How To Q. My name is Quinn, and today I'm gonna to show you how to install the Echo B4 with Alexa. It, darn it. <laughs> Let's get on with this video. Thanks for watching. All right, first thing you wanna do is go to your circuit breaker panel on your home. I've got a nice big AC next to the circuit breakers that control the air conditioning. More importantly, you wanna make sure that's off. I'll show you that in a second here. This is a battery operated keypad, which I'm guessing about 80 to 90% of the keypads out there are battery operated. It's not actually connected to the power in the house, hence the reason that I had to use the extender on my Echo B4. I'm just showing you here how I pulled that off. There are the pins that connect into the wires that are coming from the unit itself. And here I am just pointing out that I've got four wires, a green, white, blue, and red wire. There's not that fifth wire, and if you don't have that fifth wire, you are gonna need the extender. I'm pointing that out here. The C has no wire going to it. You'll also notice that I've got a little hooked wire there, which we call a jumper wire. I'm pointing that out now. I've got power coming into the RH, power for heating, and it's, there's, it's also feeding the RC, the power for cooling. But again, there is only four wires, so don't let that jumper wire throw you. At this point, when you open up the panel here, take a picture of what you're looking at. The instruction book for the Echo B4 will tell you to do that. The other wires are logical. G is a green wire, W is a white wire, and the blue wire doesn't really correspond, but those are the descriptions of each one, one of those in case you care. There's also a fifth brown wire that I've got, and I'm sure you have. I'm not gonna use that to connect to the common, the C um, portion here, or the C on the air handler. I'm gonna use the extender that came with the Echo B4. Before I head up on the roof, I'm just gonna make sure that the power is out. If you're working with electricity, I highly recommend this, one of these. This basically just tells me if there's any electricity or power coming into this area, and there is not. So time to head up on the roof. <laughs> this was always fun. My ladder was a little bit short, as you can tell, um, but it's all I had. So you're either going to be just like me heading up onto the roof, or you're going to be going into your attic. One of the two, most of you are actually going into the attic. I live in Phoenix, Arizona, where my air handler and compressor are both on the roof. So this is an example of what I did a lot of going up and down, up and down, actually about two or three times. Wasn't bad. Okay, now here is where I'm gonna plug in that extender unit. As I mentioned earlier, my compressor and air handler unit are all in one big unit. For most of you, the part on the right is what you're used to seeing on the ground. That's the fan blades that spin that when you're a kid you threw rocks in. And then your air handler is in the attic. This is all one unit. It took me a little bit to figure out which panel I needed to take off of, but there's a bunch of wires going into this panel I'm about to take off, so I assumed that's what I needed to remove, and it was pretty easy to remove. All right, here's a quick shot of the intimidating wire bundles that are in this unit. I'm pointing out the wire that comes up from the thermostat up into the terminal that all of those wires are hooked into just like downstairs. You got red, white, green, and blue right there. I'm gonna unhook those and hook in the extender kit. Now that I've found those corresponding wires, I'm just making sure again that the power is out. I'm gonna grab the stickers that came with the Echo B4 and I'm gonna label all these wires just for illustration purposes alone. My wires made sense. Yours probably due to the blue Y wire was the only one that really didn't correspond, but the blower wire, G goes to green, white goes to white, you know, W goes to white, R goes to red. That all made sense. So I'm gonna rapidly move through here and pull all those wires off. Go ahead and label them again for video purposes only. Here I am trimming up those wires uh, only because they were a little long. When um, you put this in the extender, you obviously want enough bare wire that goes into the extender. 
and you want them straight. There's W, Y, G, R. Again, I have four wires. R, the red wire goes into the R, et cetera, et cetera. That, that's, again, pretty easy. Um, like I said, I think the most intimidating thing about this job is, is making sure that electricity is off and finding the correct area where the thermostat wires are connecting to your air handler. And again, I'm gonna speed this up and connect all these wires into the extender. So I've connected all those wires. There are the five wires on the extender, which is the reason we're going through all this. One of the nice features of that extender is it does have a magnet on the bottom, so it sticks to anything metal. Um, not a great angle here, I'll improve that here in a second, but that I just stuck on a shelf and there was a little cutout um, that I could pull that wire through. And here again, I'm showing you that those wires that I connect to the air handler. And again, it's pretty easy. It's red on red, white on white, um, blue is on that Y, and, uh, and so on. But I'll connect that now. And here I'm just putting a little hook on each one of those wires with my wire cutters. That's why they're round on the outside. Um, the key here is to make sure you get those in solid, and I mean tightened up, and that those wires aren't touching the wires or the nuts next to them. Here it looks impossible, but just don't strip them enough so that you're making a connection across two different wires, that they're individually secure to each one of those nuts and not touching each other. And then I put a little hook and I connected each one of them. I'm gonna speed through this and I'll freeze it at the end just so you know which colors go to which letters, which hopefully will help you with your project. All right, so after you've secured all of those wires, here's what you should have. Yellow on Y, green on G, W on white, blue goes to C, R goes to red. That's a little different than downstairs. And then I'm just kind of backing it up here a little bit to show you the extenders there on the left and all of my connections are secure. So it is time to head back downstairs. And before I unplug the wires, of course I had to go to the hardware store to get these tiny screwdrivers. This was only $2.99, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, <laughs> although frustrating when I realized I needed to get them. So now I'm just unscrewing those wires. What I really should have done is labeled them, then unscrewed them. Now that I've got the wires unhooked, <laughs> I go and grab those stickers. I wish I would have done this backwards. So I'm gonna label all of the wires now. So now that I've finished labeling these wires, it's time to, well, first of all, hold on to that little jumper wire. If for some reason your Echo B setup doesn't work and it's really hot or cold out, you're going to want to put your old system back together. So don't lose that little wire. Now it's time to just use my drill and a Phillips head and unscrew this plate and pull it off. Okay, after screwing around with this ugly drywall with all of these holes that just looks bad, remember this is an older home, I peeked behind some of the insulation and I found a stud. This is probably what you've got behind your keypad. It's either to the left or to the right. A lot of times this is the way they hook them up. So this is an easy one where I'm just going to attach that plate to that stud. I'll do that now. One of the nice things that Echo B did on this plate was that yellow, little yellow part on the top is actually a bubble level so you can level this plate as you're putting it up. So what I'm going to do is put a Phillips head screw in the very top but I'm not going to tighten it down too much because what I want to do is put in that top Phillips head, the bottom one, and then really get it lined up, really get it level, and then secure it to the wall, tighten it up. So that's what I'm doing now. And be before I forget, don't go too crazy on your drill, drilling this in, because the last thing you want to do is crack this Echo B, the plate and everything. So I'm using this drill, but I'm when I get down to the very end, I'm slowing it down 
really should be hand tightening this so you can it's a, you just get a better feel for how tight that screw is when you hand tighten it i've been doing this a little bit so i'm going to use the drill okay now that you've got that secure pretty much all the work hard work is out of the way now all you have to do is connect the wires the gotchas here are the green wire is connected into the c slot as you can see from there and the y wire is into the pek slot Again, that's the diagram from the instruction manual. I'm just uh, cleaning up the wires a little bit before I make sure that they are secured into those slots. So I'm just doing that now. Follow the directions and you shouldn't have a problem with this part. All right, once you've got all those wires in, give them a little tug. Now it is time to say a prayer if you believe in God. <laughs> and uh, grab that Echo B4. There's two rows of pins in the back of it that um, you can use to basically gently push that in. Those pins correspond to all of the uh, wires in those slots in the back. I'm, kind of, I'm standing there waiting for it to turn on, but I forgot I have to turn the circuit breaker panel on. That little red dot blinking is actually my camera. So I went out, um, turned back on the AC. I flipped that circuit breaker and I came back in and that's what you want to see, the high, because you know your Echo B is at least powered up. Now what you want to do is make sure that it actually works. So the instruction book is actually really good at setting it up. I don't have the Wi-Fi code for my stepson's house. I don't want to hook up the Alexa. I want him to get all of his passwords and everything on his own. So I'm going to fast forward to checking the heat and the AC. So we'll skip forward now. Okay, now that you've got it powered up, I'm gonna skip forward to checking to make sure your heat works. So you select heat, you dial up the temperature, it's currently 71, and you wait until the heat kicks on. You check a vent, make sure there's warm air coming out. Then you set it to cool, the current temperature is still 71. I, want, I should be dialing that down to about 68 or 69 and checking a vent to make sure cold air is coming out. This really is the only way you can check to make sure your Echo B is installed properly. properly. So do that now. Don't wait until it's hot outside and it's really hot inside, vice versa. And that will wrap it up. Um, you can follow the directions to set up the rest of your Echo B. I just checked the heat, I just checked the air conditioning, a miracle of miracles, everything worked great on the first try. Just followed the directions. Echo B actually has a great set of directions that come with the, uh, the system, the Echo B4. If you're uncomfortable with electricity, if you don't enjoy getting up in the attic, don't do this. Have a professional come over, maybe ask a friend that's a DIYer, maybe they watch my channel. Um, but uh, electricity is just not something to be played around with. And this really is a simple system. It's a low voltage wire that you're working with. But obviously, once you get up on the roof or in your attic and you start, you start working with your air handler or your furnace, it gets a little bit dicey so make sure that's disconnected I cannot emphasize that enough that's it for this edition of how to cube please check out some of my other videos subscribe if you enjoyed this video please like it make comments um, yeah I know my ladder was too short to get on the roof <laughs> I'll save that one uh, but it's all I had today but uh, thanks again for watching we'll see you next time on how to cube